In this video I will show you how you can define symbolic constants using preprocessor directives. And please don't stop the video yet, it's not as complicated as it sounds. I will continue on my traffic light project and you can find the code on github, I will link it below. I would like to improve it using symbolic constants. And what it really is, is at the very top you write something like this, hashtag define green and then a value like nine. It is very similar to int green equals nine, but it is different because it can't be changed in your code. Green will always be nine. You usually use capital letters. So we can then use green inside of the code and it will work exactly as it did before but now it is more readable because we know it's the green LED and not 9. So here comes your exercise. Please go through this code and try to improve it using both functions. I talked about functions in the last video and using this new symbolic constant. I have my symbolic constant green and I will also add one for yellow and I will also add one for red. You will notice that there is no semicolon so we can replace it with yellow and red. And now the code is much more readable because you don't have these weird numbers. Let's replace nine with green and this with yellow and this with red and red. We can improve the clarity of the code. And also if we would change the pin, for example, now I don't use pin nine, but I connect it to pin eight. I don't need to change my whole code. I just change this one constant and it's done. But I will keep nine. So how can we use functions to further improve this code? There is a lot of repetitive code, isn't it? So right here you see digital right green, green LED was turned on. All right, uh, we could create a function that does exactly this. So let's create a new function. So I will copy this. I will call it manipulate LED. And inside of this, we basically do this. A few things should be dynamically. So this one should dynamically change. This one should dynamically change. And also the message should change because the green should change and the on should change. So there is a lot of stuff going on. Let's start with this one. This is simple. We can use int color and then insert the color right here. To turn it on or off, we can add another thing. Now this time we only need a Boolean variable. So let's do bool state. And then we use state right here. But then we would like to assemble this message. And this is a little bit more complicated. We could use a switch here. We switch based on the color. If it is green, we will serial.printGreen and we will break. And then if the case is yellow, we will print yellow. And then if it is red, we will print red. And then we have this first part of the message right here. So we will remove this. I will also remove the last part because the last part will also be an if statement. If state serial dot print ln this time on else serial dot print ln off. So let's see if this works. So I will use this function here, manipulate LED inside of this switch case right here. So I will remove these three lines and put the color green and now the state will be high or I can use true or I can use one. So let's stick to high. 
And thinking about it, it is not the best choice to have the break inside of the function. I'm not even sure if it works, but I think it's clearer if we keep it here because it it is a part of the switch case. And if there is no break, then you would execute one after another. And if you wouldn't look into the function, it wouldn't be clear how the code works. Let's see how much errors I produced. Let's try out one. Green LED was turned on. Two, green LED was turned off. Three, yellow LED was turned on. Four, yellow LED was turned off. Five, red LED was turned on. Six, red LED was turned off. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.